Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and tonight's video is going to be how to reproduce these rings that are like intertwined. I've done a couple of videos on something like this before, but it's I think this way is going to be a lot easier and, and kind of fun. Take your polygon tool and make it an eight-sided polygon. Hold down your control button and make it equal. Press P on the keyboard and put it in the center. Let's zoom in here. Take your shape tool not the top center one, but this off one, and just bring it in a little bit. Select it. Go up to Windows, Dockers, Filet, Champer, Scallop. Let's go two inches. That looks really good. That's what we want. Now go up to Effects, Contour. We want a contour. I normally contour in black, but I, since the contour is going to be a half of an inch off, I'll be able to see it. That looks really good. We won't need that anymore. Now what I'm going to do, this is really all together. You know, the contours stay together. So we're going to make a duplicate and we're going to rotate this duplicate Well, you know what? I need to break it apart. Yep. And now group all this together. Control G. Rotate it 22.5. Okay, I didn't make a duplicate, so let's go back. Control D. Rotate that one 22.5. That's exactly what we want. Take a straight line and go from the center. Hold down your control button and go straight up. Click on that line and get your rotation to the edge. Sometimes it won't go to the edge. I don't know if it's your guidelines getting in the way, but it is. So what we need to do is actually take that guideline away for a second. Our rotation is in the center. We want to go 45 degrees. Control D, we want to go back the other way. 45 degrees or 90 degrees so we need to go 315 which is 45 or you know 360 minus 45 now we need to take this and just ungroup it and sometimes you might have to hit both lines okay take your virtual segment delete key and start deleting these lines and once you get the lines off your straight lines, you ought to be able to do this. Grab your item, and you can see it's selecting up here, so we need to break curve apart. Now keep watching. If it goes up here, you need to break curve apart. You need to get all these lines broken apart from the curve. So we're not up here, so now I know I can delete this. We're up there, so I need to arrange I'm just break. I'm just uh, deleting these lines. I deleted too many. So that's well. Why is that not breaking apart? Yep. I need to break that last one apart because there are four lines basically. Whoop. Must not have broken it apart. And a lot of times it's almost easier. Now, we need these lines, these straight lines, for just a second more. We're going to take this one, and we're going to make, instead of a hairline, we're going to make it a 0.5 black line. Same thing on this other line, because this is going to be our gray color. And we want a line so we can distinguish the gray in just a minute. So now we've got black lines on the, so you could have made the black lines first. Uh, now take your color fill, and I would just start right here with black, 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 skip, black, 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 skip. Take, now get your color fill and change it to a light gray. Gray, 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 gray. gray. 
So now it looks like it's intertwined. Now we can get rid of these straight lines. Now we need to group this together. Control G. We need to make a duplicate of that. Control D. We're going to double click on it and get our line to the center of the page. We're going to rotate it 90 degrees. And there you have it. Now we'll get rid of our indexing lines. And there's a little bit of tweaking that might be done, like this, these, this black line. And I'm not going to really do it for the video, but you can very easily take your virtual segment delete key, delete that line, and then fill that back in with black. And then you for sure won't have a line there in your engraving. There should be a couple of those, but I'm not going to do them for the video, but it's very easily done. Just delete it. It's going to take away your color. Take your smart fill tool and fill it back in. And it's, I do not think it's going to show up on the engraving. There's two more. But for the time of the video, take your time. I'm not going to do it. But that's how you can very easily reproduce that. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.